Dennis's vision for the future of McLaren is encapsulated in his latest project, Paragon, the Norman Foster designed headquarters that will finally bring the entire tag McLaren empire under one roof. The innovative eco-friendly building, which features three subterranean levels and two above ground, is due for completion in summer 2003. Ooh, building site. It is a building site, actually, isn't indeed, it? It's, it's a hence bit. the Bob the Builder outfit. Yeah, indeed. This has really become your baby lately, though, hasn't it? This is taking up a lot of your time. Well, you know, it's, uh, it's the future of the company, and, uh, you know, if, if, if I contribute something to the company I hope it's a bit of vision I mean, our, our objective is to have you know really the best facilities for our engineers it's not a sort of box or edifice to me or to the company it's uh, it's just a tool this is uh, the lake it's a, a lot lower than it will be in the end the, the lake will actually be up to the level of this street mm -hmm. and this uh, this is the driveway that will lead into the uh, executive offices here and then over so this is the way that the cars will come in indeed Obviously. yeah and uh, and actually you'll, you'll get the sensation that you're driving on the surface of the water. This is in fact uh, uh, covered in um, cobbles, so it's not sort of harsh concrete. And the water will come right up to the edge, so it'll be quite a sensation. It's quite one of the reasons why we've got this shallow area immediately behind. <laughs> because in case. Yeah, there are going to be no <laughs> barriers. You have to take a bit of a run at it to get into the lake. If you sort of look in the distance, all the tree line actually is our effectively the... Uh, the extent of the property. We're, we sit on, I think it's between 135 and 140 acres of land. What are you going to uh, do with all the rest of it then? Uh, well, we're not too sure. Um, we used to have ostrich on, the, on this area yeah? uh, at one stage. It was one of the uh, Looney Tune ideas of the former owners. But um, I think cows or sheep or something's a possibility, of Lovely. course, but they make a bit of a mess. And I'm not too You're keen not on You're not big mess. on mess, are no, you? I'm not big on mess. Is it true that you make the lorry drivers wash their tyres when they come on to site? Well, that's really as a, as a courtesy to the road users off-site, really. Because, <laughs> yes, uh, taking, is what you're saying. You do, them, don't you? I don't, I don't. <laughs> it was one of, you know, we set some standards here, and the uh, British building industry has really got a, 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 a poor reputation. And, uh, you know, you won't see many builders' bottoms here, and you'll see very little litter. Come here that. on your weekends off? Very, well, it, uh, yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. It's awful. You want to but get out more. I get out. No, it's all right. I'm not, I'm not sad at all. <laughs> I'm passionate about the things I do. Is there an element of the engineer coming out here? Because you've been so involved in the design of, of this project, of the communication centre. You're well, a frustrated I, I, architect. To, to be honest, I never qualified because I started to go motor racing. But um, I would think it was, you know, it was always a passion. And um, I enjoy very much the line. You know, I, I love lines and shapes and forms. And, and you know a nice fluid design of course this is fluid if you take an aerial view it's in fact yin yang you know there's a, a whole slightly uh, Asian feel to, to some of the design philosophy so what we have here is our exhibition center or exhibition center to be um, as you see it's quite a big space uh, we've got a lot of exciting projects uh, for here and uh, this is one of the areas which the general public will be able to come and see. Uh, we also stood over a 360 seat theatre and then there's a whole experience that leads off from here and that's really what this is about. It's about conveying a McLaren, a McLaren experience, an emotion. So you're not going to see lots of dead racing cars lined up. This is going to be a very interactive area. And then last but not least it's going to play a very important educational role. I'm a great believer in lighting the spark of youth, uh, you know, you often hear young people say, "I don't know what I want to be," you know, and, and they get inspired to be things. We need more and more brain power, but technical brain power. Most of the people that work for us have a great fascination with the task of building and, and maintaining and, and, and bringing all these technologies to bear on what becomes a, a pretty expensive piece of sporting equipment.